Now, with South Korea's daily COVID-19 tally continuously dropping, health authorities have made the bold move of getting rid of current social distancing measures. But they will be keeping the mask mandate. Now, for more, we have our Chen Min-jung joining us on the line. Min-jung. South Korea will be lifting all social distancing rules for the first time in over two years. Some measures have been in place since March 2020, but now people will be able to enjoy, the la enjoy their lives much like they did before the pandemic. The prime minister announced this morning that the ban on social gatherings of more than 10 people will be lifted and businesses will be able to open for 24 hours starting next Monday. So people can gather with as many people as they want without curfews. Large events, including at places of worship and rallies, can now be held without limits on capacity. And from April 25th, people will also be able to enjoy movies and concerts indoors while having something to eat. However, people will still be required to wear masks at all times. Indoor mask mandates will remain for the time being, and authorities had been considering the lifting of outdoor mask mandates, but they have decided to put that on hold. The mask wearing requirement for outdoors may change after the government assesses the country's virus situation over the next two weeks. Now, Min Jung, the lifting of measures do come as uh, South Korea has been seeing a dip in the number of new daily COVID-19 infections with, uh, from what I understand, cases on Friday falling well below the 200,000 mark once again. That's right, Sanjay. The country reported 125,846 new cases on Friday. The figure has remained in the 100,000 range for three days in a row now. We are continuing to see a downward trend as cases drop by more than 22,000 compared to a day ago and by almost 80,000 on week. The number of severely ill patients remains at just under 1,000 and there were 264 additional deaths. The Prime Minister also announced that from April 25th, COVID-19 will be downgraded in its classification of infectious diseases. Currently, it's categorized as a level one infectious disease, the highest on the government's four-tier scale and regarded as the most dangerous. A downgrade to level two would mean self-isolation will no longer be mandatory when infected with COVID-19. That's all I have for now, but I'll be back with more in our later newscast. Back to you, Sinjae.